Hello everybody, this is Johnny Wu here with MDI. Today we're going to do a quick review about the new wireless HDMI kit uh, from Hollyland Tech. This is the Mars 300. So it comes with the transmitter and the receiver, and they both are very portable and very small. For transmitter, you have HDMI out and then you have HDMI in. For the receiver part, which you attach to the monitor screen, you're going to have two HDMI out which make it very easy for you to attach more than one monitor in case like, a director wants to show it to the client or you know so you can have one monitor for the director one monitor for the client and you'll be able to do it uh, with this also come with the two adapters this adapter, adapter you can put it on top of the camera which we're going to show you uh, later you use Sony batteries like this one here is the F960 it takes about six it lasts about six hours the other, this one, the smaller one, it lasts about 2.5 hours. So it's really not a bad thing. Um, what we're going to try and do is to see how good this is uh, in front of the camera, and we're using it with the camera, and then to see what kind of delay there is. Right now, we're going to try the Hollyland Mars 300 HDMI wireless kit on a GH5 camera. Right now, Scott is holding the GH5, and um, we have the receiver here, transmitter there. When you turn them both on, you're automatically trying to find the signals and pair them together out of, uh, fairly quickly. Well, it'll take about 30 seconds to a minute sometimes, depending on your environment. So we want to see the latency between the transmission from the transmitter to the receiver. What we're going to do is uh, put my hand in front. You can see the monitor screen, how much of a delay there is. Um, just let you know, the uh, GA5 processing on the camera is not as powerful to compare to other uh, cameras because of the, uh, the way they build this. But again, it's fairly usable. I'm, you still can see me very much, very in focus. And this is a really great product to be used eventually uh, once they are out of the market. We're going to now try it out with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Now we are back here with uh, all the uh, Hollyland Tech Mars 300 connected to the system. We have the receiver here connected to my 10-bit uh, Lilliput 28-inch monitor. And then we had the transmitter to connect it in the Blackmagic 4K, Pac uh, I'm sorry, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. That's a really, really long word. I really wish they can shorten it a little bit more. B BMPCC 4K. So when you turn on both of them, you will automatically uh, search for the signals, and then you will be connected to both of them. Um, we are using the second batch of this firmware. Uh, the first time we did this with, with the firmware number one, it was completely useless. The, uh, there was a lot of lag and was never on focus. And with the new updates, it actually really make it really, really well. So what I'm going to do right now is to show you how the lat latency is between it. So you can see there is a minimal latency, but at least I am focused. And Scott is actually trying to con using his minor focus on the lens to make sure that I'm always in focus. So there is a small lag, but it's not going to be as bad as it used to be. So this is still very, very usable for uh, when the camera person needs to have a feed to the director, or and then the director needs to do another feed to the client. In this in the studio environment, this is actually really w w useful for that environment in, in that scenario. Um, what the company said, Holly, Holly Lamp, uh, tech said this can have a range of about 300 feet. So we have tested before, it actually does work really well. And obviously the more battery you have, the last, uh, longer it lasts and the more powerful the signal will become. Um, other than that, this is fairly simple. It had several, several channels that you can actually pair with. In case one channel doesn't work, you can go to second channel and third channels and so on. Uh, nothing fancy. What's the surprise for this? We don't know yet. Uh, maybe there's another firmware update after the Lunar New Year, but we will find out. But keep your eye open for this from Hollyland Tech. It's the Mars 300.